All right, guys, what's up? It's your boy Cole back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys my initial thoughts on chapter three, because I think, uh, you know, there's a lot going on. A lot has changed. A lot stayed the same. Mostly things have changed for the good and for the bad. And I think I'm going to talk over these as unbiased as possible to you guys in this video. So it'll be a lot of me talking, maybe a couple examples where I'm playing and kind of showing you what I mean by things. But for the most part, I think it's going to be me talking. You guys can just agree, disagree, leave in the comments what you thought about it. You know, we're going to get right into it. Like, subscribe subscribe let's go i don't even know exactly where i want to begin because there's a lot going on on this new game i think i'm gonna go into an arena game and just land somewhere really safe if i can hopefully no one will find me and i, I think i can go over pretty much everything in game so my initial thoughts are on the season are new season so you have to be optimistic right you have to try to be as optimistic as possible because otherwise you're gonna come into the game negative and you're gonna hate it so i've been trying to have fun on streams the last two days and i have had a good amount of fun to be completely honest it is fun uh i think the only real thing some of you guys might be upset and say i'm complaining but realistically i think the only real thing that's that's new and exciting about the season is the map i think the the new map with, with all new pois and new names and new biomes and stuff like that keeps the game to me at least that keeps the game refreshing i, I think they could have the worst season ever but on a new map it makes it somewhat enjoyable i'd like to compare the weapons on the map to was it chapter six to season six the primal season i could be wrong i think that that was the primal season am i wrong i think chapter two season six was the primal season it might have been season five i think it was six though because five was sand season uh primal season weapons if you guys remember was the at, at the start it was the overpowered primal shotgun which was like a it was like this big bulky shoddy and it, and it shot really fast and did a lot of damage and it was just really op and then they pretty much nerfed it to be horrible and the other one was the primitive shotgun i don't remember what it's called it was that it was the weak pump that you could upgrade to a pump and it feels like that shotgun with how weak it is and how much delay it had and lack of bullets it feels like that shotgun is sort of the game's current shotgun so like i said the map is great the weapon balancing is a huge issue the weapons in general are a big issue i think the meta like rotation wise is uh, about the same right it's just launch pads there's no nothing really else you could slide i think sliding's cool and it has a lot of uses potentially in the future but i think when you slide and how you have your slide bound is a problem with your normal movement and i'll get go into further detail in a second if i ever manage to find a game so yeah i think the map realistically like all the new POIs are really cool. I think the map looks great, looks nice. And I think you could have the worst meta ever and people would enjoy playing the map just because it's new and it's fun and it's exciting playing a new map. I think Fortnite was still like super popping back when the last map came out. Sort of like Tifu was still playing. A lot of these big streamers were still playing the game and they're playing competitively. Like back when uh, the new map came out in squads for the first season. Like, but like I said, apart from that, the season is mostly negatives for me, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I'm going to explain why. I don't think when I say it's negatives, I think things need to be tuned and worked on to be really good, but I have a lot of hope and I'm not upset about the season because of the map. The map holds me over or the negatives in the game i think aim assist is a huge problem right now which is something we need to address i think they said epic came out and said it was intentional the aim assist nerf but i just can't imagine that they intentionally made it so you don't have aim assist at any range with certain weapons that just doesn't seem very real to me you know i feel like i can understand an aim assist nerf but i do think a slight one maybe was needed because up close controller players still have that advantage and that not that that's like necessarily an issue because keyboard has their own advantage as well we just need it to be a little bit more balanced just so it's not as aim body up close and you know other than that obviously we need the same as this boss we need so don't get me wrong it just it feels way too weak in certain situations and i've heard almost everyone say this and a lot of controller players that are good at keyboard are just going back to keyboard which makes perfect sense to me probably what i would do let's get into this game i'm gonna cut to whenever we get into this game because i've just talked your ear off for five minutes and i'm really sorry about that i really thought we'd have a game by now but you know it's good call good conversation good talking points you know perfect here we go all right first of things first the map like i said the map looks great it really does i love the old look the chapter one look where like we have biomes like this we just have this massive biome like sand biome desert and you can see it goes over here i wish they kept like a snow corner like that maybe like this little area would like stay as snowy but i don't think they're going to i want to say the whole map's going to be grass in the future which is fine but I, I do like the biomes i wish they had like a snow like a grass desert you know i like that stuff but i, I think it looks really nice it looks big visually pleasing there's nothing really wrong with it I mean, it looks great. The, the whole map looks good. And I think that's enough to hold off a lot of people in their like 
negativity towards the game like just a brand new map and i mean a brand new map i think this is the first time in 18 seasons we got rid of retail and pleasant i think we have 18 seasons of fortnite correct and retail and pleasant have been gone initial changes in the map i mean it looks it looks incredible it plays well as far as i've seen obviously we don't know how it's going to be for competitive but who cares uh it looks good and it's fun it's a fresh change and no matter how bad the game is i think the map being new is like a temporary blanket over how bad the game could be or is now that we've kind of gone over the map let's get into the weapons all right so this shotgun the auto shotgun kind of like attack but it has weird delay i'm gonna inspect it i mean the damage is 80.4 whatever that means fire is 1.5 magazine size is 8 and reload times 8.4 to me this shotgun feels like a clunky mess in the worst way possible the only time i see this is useful is if someone is fighting you and editing and building on you and you're just holding it in their face like say they make they make this edit and you're just waiting like you can pump them like that and that's about it i think that's the only that's loud i'm sorry i think that's the only time that this weapon is is truly useful so when i make this edit so i'm gonna make a top row edit and i'm gonna i'm gonna press my rt as many times as possible i'm gonna try to shoot as many times as i can it takes me five presses on my fifth tap after i make the edit to shoot because look at the animation the character pulls the gun all the way back and then all the way forward and you can't shoot until the gun is in place ready it takes i press my shoot button five times and on the fifth time just about i shoot that's how long the delay is so if you edit on someone and have to go for a quick shot like it's really not quick and you have a lot of potential to get shot back before you can do anything you know um it also doesn't do too much damage if you used it in a fight yourself you'd know how little this thing actually hits for on a pretty regular basis it's, it's pretty weak it's not super enjoyable i think the pump is a staple of fortnite and it just seems like way better also when you reload as if you guys would notice like look when you reload it goes from four to six and then six to eight and it takes a while to get that reload off so if you're at no bullets when you try reloading like i press this button like eight times you really have to sit there i mean it's not an efficient weapon it's not a powerful weapon it's slow there's delay after editing it makes it not good for fighting because all it takes is someone editing on you and you just hold this thing out and you kill them or say you make a an edit on someone and they are holding their gun out you're gonna die about every time but the counter with this gun to this gun seems to be this gun which makes for a really noob friendly meta in like the nicest way possible if i can say that uh, really noob friendly really like and i think that's their goal in a way i think epic games thinks that maybe they could bring back some of their player base that left by making the meta really spray heavy and friendly because obviously the best players are gonna be able to do really quick edits and builds to get to you and then they're gonna kill you with good shotguns because that's the gun you use but if a player like this gets triple edit on someone comes through here and i'm just waiting say they run up this triple edit and i'm here just waiting like this gun has a incredibly fast rate of fire with 30 bullets in it and it does from what i understand a pretty hefty amount of damage as well 19 damage that's not including headshot multiplier right fire rate 12 whatever that means i don't even know what half these things mean the reload time actually is an issue i was gonna say something crazy it's an issue look how long it takes to reload when i have zero bullets the amount of times i've canceled a reload because i like swap when it looks like the animation's done looks like it's done there right it's not gotta go back you really got to wait for the whole animation and it might not seem like a while but i promise you guys the amount of times i've already tried to reload and shoot and then i pull out the gun i have no ammo because i didn't properly reload is honestly pretty unbelievable but this gun is incredibly strong and it is incredibly frustrating to fight against next gun since i have it in my inventory right now i'll move on to this the ar the mk7 i think this gun is really cool it's interesting it makes me want to kind of play the game i don't know how to explain it like i think it's fun i do think on keyboard because of the ability to track so prominently it's going to be incredibly overpowered uh, obviously it's great on controller too i i beam with this thing i feel like i'm cheating sometimes when i use it this gun would allow a new player or someone with good tracking on keyboard to come onto the game right now and hit lasers across the map because it has recoil it's the first gun in fortnite history i believe that has first person mode obviously i guess from like apart from the sniper which is kind of in first person if you want to say that but like look at this Kind of gives you the crosshair puts you right here and you're shooting in first person it looks like apex looks like call of duty a little bit you can slide and shoot and i like it personally i think it's fun i do i think it needs a nerf a significant one it is the main ar of the season the other one is the ak and the ak appears to not be that strong it seems strong but it's just nowhere no match for this ar it can do so much damage in such a short period of time you know it's just not even worth uh using oh perfect example perfect timing look at that 
Get the AK. Look how slow it shoots. Not even, it's not even that it's that slow. And the damage that it does is pretty unreal as well. Like it does high damage, but you're just not going to be able to do anywhere near as much damage with it as you are with this gun with significantly less damage. But it has a lot more to it. Like this gun really is going to be the AR unless they nerf it, which they're going to need to. But it's fun. I actually really enjoy this AR. I can't lie to you guys. People are close. It feels like I'm beaming them. The tracking's fun. It's enjoyable. Like I said, if you're on keyboard, you probably have a massive advantage. All right. So we have the new striker pump shotgun here which is probably it doesn't look too bad when you're looking at it right like when you look at the character model it doesn't look too bad in your inventory it looks horrible i don't know why it looks horrible it just kind of looks bad all the guns don't look too great but it's fine it's whatever it looks nice in game i guess it takes a long time to shoot again back to back to back see uh the reload times also pretty pretty delayed look at that so once i'm at zero bullets guys and it forces a reload right there after you cock the gun back and it looks like you should be able to shoot it watch i'm still pressing still pressing still pre like it takes like a good amount of time even when you're at like a neutral screen it doesn't do a crazy amount of damage and to be honest it feels like it gets out power out gunned by the sub a majority of times because of the lack of damage that it does so if i am in this game's position i am going to definitely be tweaking the smg damage to nerf it or just remove the gun also the ar damage kind of needs to be nerfed or fix you know and i think the shotgun just needs to be buffed that's basically it because this shotgun is definitely going to be the way to go i think i don't think i'm going to see that many people using the auto shotgun like the tack sort of one i think it's gonna be more of these because this gun is just way better but even then it has like significant input delay and it's really not that great uh it needs a buff the shotguns are far too weak right now which is very frustrating uh that's about it for the guns one thing i do want to mention as well is if you're in a box with an enemy i'm not really gonna be able to show you because i don't have any enemies with me but just so you guys know when you're in a box right now the way aim assist works which i think is one of the biggest issues of the season is you don't have any aim assist with the ar up close uh when you're adsing it it's good it has a lot of aim assist feels really strong same with the sub from far i think but like once you get basically in someone's box it kind of feels like you lose aim assist fully and there's just none you just like start looking all around and stuff like it's bad it is bad it needs to be fixed uh i understand the n potential nerf of aim assist in their mind like i think it's can't be too big of an issue i think nerfing aim assist is fine a little bit um i think the biggest issue for me is that it just doesn't even feel like a nerf it feels like it's just gone in some situations and if you guys know me if you guys watch me play any other video game besides fortnite you know that i really don't miss very very many shots i feel like i have a pretty pretty decent shot in every game i play so for me to get on fortnite and feel like i don't have aim assist and and miss shots it just isn't natural and i just can tell there's something wrong like i can immediately feel when there's something off uh i didn't even know there were sharks this season uh yeah that's about it for the aim assist talk aim assist needs to be fixed weapons need to be tuned a little bit and balanced but overall i like the map the guns and aim assist need tuning need work um the, the the last thing i want to talk about is the sliding mechanic i've been complaining about this on stream a lot just because it is it, it's really frustrating in some some situations i've heard from multiple people so don't take my word for it but i have heard from multiple people that 175 okay last thing i complained about before i even get into that thing is the menu system i hate the way the menu works right now if you die and you want to leave the game you have to like spect it's horrible it's bad menu system sucks but apart from that i wish they just kept the old menu system all right so you had a controller and i heard 175.175 is the sweet spot so hopefully that is the case but sliding right it's good uh definitely helps you get across the map a bit faster in certain situations you can pretty much slide wherever which is kind of good for movement i had imagined people are going to be rotating in competitive while like this basically just like sliding like a whole time like there will never be a time when you're not sliding it just seems like a really glitchy uh mechanic like i can see a lot of people moving around in fights like this but it's nice it, it's a cool change and i really don't mind it out overall the way i normally farm in this game like for example is when i'm farming brick or whatever i'm pressing my outside right paddle to crouch and i'm pressing my outside left paddle to stand up right left right left right left when i farm and it's very natural it's a fluid movement if i want to do it like this like real slow it works but the crouch feature is permanently bound to um slide and you can't remove it you can't pick a new bind it's stuck to your slide bind no matter what look at my character like tweak like it like doesn't look like she's fully crouching because she's not but i'm doing my normal motion normally it would look something like this like a full crouch up and down but this is me just pressing my right uh crouch bind and i like pressing my right left so like now basically if you try to normal crouch up and down it's fine if you press crouch twice but if you if you're like me and you instead of crouching you stand up to uncrouch there's this weird delay which is weird this is another weird thing if i jump and press crouch it'll automatically crouch me right obviously if i jump and don't press anything nothing's gonna happen my hands are off the controller but if i jump and press crouch while in midair it crouches me previous or if i'm like running 
and I press crouch in midair, it'll slide. I don't think that is something that is good. The whole point of what I'm saying is like, there's a lot of bugs with it and I think it needs to be fine tuned, but I like the idea of crouching as it is. But I think overall, map's great. Uh, crouching mechanic is cool with some issues. Guns have are, are weak and very noob friendly, but I think that's fine, especially if they're fine tuned out. But yeah, overall, I mean, I think the map's just, the map's fun. The map's fresh, it's unique, it's cool, and it's definitely something that like, it's just one of those things where a new map can kind of make everything feel like it's not as bad as it is. Med spray is also pretty cool. Things just need to be balanced, and I think this could be a great season, I really do. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you guys in the next one or on stream, because I stream every day, twitch.tv slash Galazzo. All right, guys. Peace.